Hello, Baker Investment students. I am Joe Barnhill, be your instructor for the next seven weeks. I know we get a break in there too, like the July 4th week, but hope everyone's doing well. Hope you're having a great uh, holiday, Memorial Day holiday weekend. So uh, what I want to do is uh, I want to give you a little bit of overview of the course and expectations for the first okay. week. Um, I like to post these every Sunday, kind of call them weekly video, video mini lectures. Uh, to give you some insight of the expectations uh, that coming week. And since it's a holiday weekend, and this is the only time of year that I really get to take a vacation, uh, I will be on vacation the first week, but no, I'll check in uh, every daily uh, once we get started. So if you have any questions, do, do reach out to me, but I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, a little bit about myself. I, I've been with Baker for almost 29 years now. I started when I was super young, like at age 25, but have really enjoyed um, doing it. I actually found out about Baker by working with a, uh, a lady that was going to class at Baker, and uh, she would invite me up with her colleagues and her cohort and help do economics with her on Friday nights. They would pay me like a McDonald's. I didn't care. I didn't have a life back then. And, uh, you know, at that time, uh, I was a Fed funds trader working at a U.S. Central Credit Union, working on an asset liability investment desk, and uh, eventually figured out, uh, what, you know, what's this Baker University? And next thing I knew, I applied for the job, and I was teaching. So I uh, really enjoy uh, the university. It's a good university. It's a good, solid degree that you're getting. So anyway, with a little bit of uh, overview of uh, – well, let me also share right now. I, I work at uh, State Tech in Lynn, Missouri, so I actually commute back and forth um, from Kansas City come back on the weekends, but I have a small apartment up there in Bonnetsville, Missouri. So I run the business department there and also teach a lot of uh, finance, business, and economics courses. So, but I've been in like, you know, um, uh, different cash management roles. I'm a certified cash manager. So I worked at Sprint for a while. Uh, I've got a lot of exposure on the uh, finance side, but eventually went to the academic side uh, full time, probably about uh, 15 years ago. So uh, anyway, for that, um, let me give you a little bit about the, the course, a little bit of some background. Of course, if you need to get a hold of me, just uh, uh, shoot me an email. That's the best way to get a hold of me. Uh, with this course, you know, what we're going to be looking at is kind of a, an overall review of the types of investments, investment strategies, you know, trying to tie in uh, current events, what's going on now. You know, there, there's a lot of interesting things going on right now especially with the uh, historic rise in interest rates by the Fed to try to fade inflation. Uh, there's also the big question of the debt ceiling. I'm hoping that uh, we don't have financial Armageddon this week. Uh, if the politicians can't get it together and get the approval to raise the debt limit, trust me, if, we, if the U.S. defaults on their debt, this is bad for everyone globally. This might even be one of the things about a world event you write about uh, for the common assessment. So, But with that, uh, a little bit of overview first with the homework. Uh, I put templates out there each way, week. Sometimes there's a little bit of guidance within the template, but use the template. Uh, make sure to show your work on that in Excel, the formulas that you use, how you derive the answer. Uh, but again, if you have questions, do let me know. The weekly portfolio project, this is kind of a fun thing that you're going to do. Uh, I put an Excel template out there. I picked some utility stocks. Um, I want you to pick five to ten stocks. And the one thing with the homework and the port weekly portfolio project, I want you to make sure to understand that uh, it was actually wrong on the, uh, the last page of the syllabus. You do have an assignment due to week first week with the homework and uh, with the forum discussion. So that I don't want you to have to do a whole bunch of stuff the last week. Uh, that's going to make it easier for you, too. But you'll pick out uh, stocks, and you will just address the forum discussion questions each week. So... Really, for the first week, I just want you to pick out uh, which stocks you want to track in your portfolio. And um, I, I like to keep track of it myself, my own portfolio for the course. We'll kind of see how you all do. But, you know, it's, it's just kind of a short, quick snapshot within a period of like two months. And it's interesting because you're going to learn a little bit more about these companies that you select and a little bit more about uh, the volatility of these companies, how stable they are, their dividend strategies. But uh, the one thing with the portfolio if a company does pay a dividend during that time period, you can just use it to just rebuy more shares of that stock or just put it into cash. So I'll let you make that decision on that. With the uh, investment manager style project, uh, you're going to do a research on a famous uh, investor. You know, of course, come to mind like Warren Buffett. Uh, I think about him. Uh, he's done quite well. Some 
people question kind of the ethics of how he does things sometimes. Um, somewhat monopolistic in nature. Uh, but uh, he's been very good about uh, uh, how he's gone about it. He's made a lot of money for a lot of people. There's others like Peter Lynch, Thomas Rowe. So you pick somebody out you're interested in a little bit of research on. The one thing I must suggest with the papers, especially APA, I'm a big fan of using like headers. It just helps with transitions. So, you know, if you do like explanation, investment style, uh, historic background, you know, just make it bold headers and just makes the uh, transition. It makes it easier to address the writing assignments in this course. Again, the main thing that I look for any race I mean, is just, you know, are you addressing the questions? You know, and uh, do ask me questions with that if you do have any. Uh, you're going to have some quizzes in the course and a final exam. Uh, and then again, you're going to have a common assessment that you're going to look at some type of world event. You know, past common uh, world events have been the uh, subprime crisis and most recently COVID. Um, you could also, in terms of thinking about the war in uh, Ukraine and Russia, you know, this has definitely impacted financial markets. But pick something you're interested in. And um, if you want some guidance on the topic, uh, do ask me too. So to give you a little bit of overview for uh, what you're going to do this week, uh, of course, you're going to have um, the readings that you have this week. You should all have this uh, textbook electronically, the, the fundamentals of investing. So uh, kind of my guidance is that read the chapters first. Uh, they'll give you the details. The PowerPoints are there if you want a quick summary. And then after you read the chapters, then you can work on kind of the forum discussion and then also uh, the homework. So, uh, you know, for this week, uh, definitely, you're going to have the, uh, the homework, the forum discussion. And you see how I laid it out each week. And uh, I definitely, you know, you'll, you'll want to pick which stocks you want to track over the period of our course. So uh, let me wrap up this week a little bit about what you're going to read about. So in Chapter 1, you kind of really get into the idea of, like, the purpose of investing. Obviously, you want to try to uh, reduce the risk as much as possible. Some people are more risk adverse. Most of us are risk adverse. Uh, but some are risk takers, but you you have tied to some type of financial goal, whether it's a goal for your uh, personal investing, or it could be a goal for trying to make better returns if you're working for someone like American Century, or it can just simply be, you know, an investment uh, for corporations that have to have extra cash in their treasury department. I used to work uh, at a treasury department for a long period of time. You think about the two branches of a CFO, you have the accounting side, and then you have the um, treasury side. A lot of the treasury side does the IPOs. They, ra they raise new capital. They figure out how to get the day to day. And if they have leftover cash, uh, they're going to make decisions how to invest that. Usually it's in money markets and something relatively safe. Okay. But you're going to kind of get exposure to this idea of like a financial matrix and how everything is tied together and how it works. And uh, if markets are efficient, they work well. It's actually, you know, it helps us in trying to get us better rates of return. Uh, lower cost of borrowing, and, you know, helps eliminate a lot of the risk in markets by having good financial markets. So you're going to learn about the different types of uh, investments. You can be, whether it's, you know, fixed income like bonds or common stock, what we call equity. Uh, can ever get, go into even mutual funds, exchange traded funds, uh, tangible assets such as real estate, um, and then you can get on to derivatives like the options and uh, futures. But you're going to go into more detail about these things in future chapters. Um, also, you know, you're going to discuss a little bit about the investment plan and just to kind of touch on, you know, if some of you might be interested in careers in finance. I was in finance for quite a while, you know, through banking and uh, corporate finance, but there's always going to be jobs out there for financial folks. So it's just a matter of you know, where are those jobs and um, what interests you. So in the second chapter, you're going to look, start to look at some of the securities markets. Uh, obviously, you know, there's money market, trades one year or less, capital markets, you know, anything long term, how securities are issued, how the SEC regulates these markets. You're going to read a lot about regulation in these markets, um, how the basics of uh, new securities are brought to the market in the primary market. Uh, most of what we see and read about in the news is going to be in the secondary market. And that is something I want you to kind of pay more attention to. Over the time of this course, you know, I, my favorite website to go to every day is CNN Money. I, I've been following it since the uh, late 90s. And I just really like a lot of the articles and kind of the, how they give really good snapshots of what's going on with the markets and their insights. Uh, but with that, you know, with the IPO, uh, it does cost money to issue, but they're going to kind of talk about the underwriters, the syndicate. You know, there's flotation costs. Um, 
the thing about issuing, you know, stock, especially, uh, it's one of the highest cost raising capital. But if you're a big firm, it's a way to kind of access uh, the capital markets and get more cash into your company to start the project. So it can be for a brand new company or it can be for uh, an existing company that just wants to issue more shares of stock or it could just be a bond. Bonds aren't talked about as much, but they are very much a part about how companies finance their needs and how governments finance their needs. As I said, hopefully uh, we're able to pay off our uh, U.S. debt here in the coming weeks. Uh, Janet Yellen, our Treasury Secretary, used to be the uh, Federal Reserve Chairman, has given some pretty harsh warnings that, hey, guys, uh, get your acts together because uh, we're going to start having to cut back on payments to potential Social Security retirees. Um, you know, if we default on the debt, like I said, we, we've always could be considered like a risk-free rate. So that's going to cause a lot of problems for a lot of people. Uh, it, it's going to have us to uh, kind of reevaluate uh, even our form of government. Right now, I'd say it's, it's, it's very dysfunctional. You have too many people on the extremes uh, that aren't getting a lot of things accomplished so that could help our economy out. So other than that, I hope you have a great week. Um, this week was a little bit longer on the, the mini dis, uh, discussion or the video lecture, if you want to call it. But uh, next week could be a little bit more brief, but I just get you know, I'll post these every Sunday try to give you insight for the week. So otherwise, have a great week, and I will look forward to uh, talking to you online.